State High School Volleyball, Denver Coliseum, the place where a champion will be crowned tonight. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the 5A State Championship Playoff Saturday. We've got Eagle Crest and Grandview, two crosstown rivals from the Centennial League facing each other here in pool play. If Eagle Crest, who is 0-1, Grandview is 1-0, vying for one of the spots in the final four. Starting it off quickly is Eagle Crest getting point number one. Grandview's 1-0, defeated Heritage in five sets. Eagle Crest lost to Heritage. So Eagle Crest has to beat Grandview to give itself a chance. All right, sends that one out of bounds. We are knotted at one apiece. Poulter to Okoye. Okoye sends it out. So with this, if you have not seen either of these two teams, we've got high level of volleyball, folks, in store for you here this afternoon. Nice dig. Poulter gets up there. She's going to challenge it. Beautiful set by Poulter. Outside it goes. Here comes a tip attempt. It looked like it was coming from McLaren. And it was, and she was blocked at the net. Stuff there. Point and side out goes to Eagle Crest. So you're going to see a lot of good action on the outsides. Terrific play by the setters and nice digs. We've got balance on both sides of the net here today. Would not be surprised if this one goes five sets. Grandview leads it. 3-2 on the serve. McLaren. And that one goes sailing at about. So service air, we're tied at three apiece. Pol Jordan Poulter, sophomore with the service. Outside, here comes the big swing by Montgomery. And good talk that time coming from the Libero. Sydney Ederoff telling Montgomery, it's out, it's out. Let it go. So she had to step away, let that ball fall as Grandview... Goes back ahead by one. Four, three. Coming in to sub in the back row and serve for Grandview is Sarah Mullins. Mullins with the ace. So you'll see Mullins coming in a lot in the back there for McLaren. Nice floater. Good dig there coming up with it. For Eagle Crest was Kelsey Smith. Smith is a workhorse, does a fantastic job for this Eagle Crest squad. Two-year starter. Poulter. Touch that time by Gathers. And here's the hit by Tolbert. Over the blockers and out of bounds. So Grandview rattles off three in a row behind Mullins at the serve. One of them is an ace. This one stays in, second ace. Mullins, tough service. Service here early, first set action. Fourth match of the day, we've got seven of them. Number seven will be the state championship later this evening. Pass from the back row. Roll spike by Colwell. And it goes up and out. So in for the first time for the Eagle Crest in the match is Alexis Colwell, 5'8 junior. Timeout on the floor by head coach Tanya Bond in her 12th year with the Raptors. You're watching TV live from the Denver Coliseum for high school volleyball. Mullins continues to serve, and another ace by Mullins. 
10 serving three, a 7-0 run for Grandview. This one goes out of bounds. Okay, service error number two for Grandview. Eagle Crest has four points. Half of those are on service errors here early, first set action. Winner here would make it really interesting. We'll find out how that works on the tiebreaker. It'll be one, one, and one. All these teams will have won one and lost one. In the pool is Eagle Crest, Grandview and Heritage. Down the line, Grandview gets it. Beautiful swing. Coming from Cat Denny, point and side out, 11-4, short-lived for Eagle Crest. Looked like that was sailing out of bounds. Poulter with the quick in the middle and right there on the stuff block for Grandview as Miracle went up. Grandview makes Eagle Crest pay 12-4. Service by Koppel. There's a nice hit by Miracle, but that one's going to sail over the blockers and out. 13-4. And quickly, Eagle Crest finds itself down in a hurry to its longtime rival, Grandview. Actually, they're not very far apart. They're only within three to five miles of each other. Coming up with the roll spike for Eagle Crest was Chloe Logan. And she falls short of the net. And a 10-point advantage now for Grandview. Koppel on the serve. Good decision by Smith. That one was right about face high, last moment. Turned sideways and it went right past her, sailing out of bounds. So service error, 14-5. Outside it goes, this time to Svalberg. Great stuff block right there, Okoye. Joined in tandem with Gaithers, 14-6. Smith on the serve. Outside Montgomery, and she sends it sailing cross court. Out of bounds. Eagle Crest cutting that deficit in half. 14-7. Grandview leads it. Eagle Crest trying to find a way to get some more energy, and Smith sends it out of bounds with the service error. So first service error for Eagle Crest. Fourth in the match, three coming from Grandview. Montgomery ready to serve. Jump serve. Miracle, Okoye off of Poulter, outside. Here comes McLaren, hits the pin and out of bounds. So Eagle Crest will pick up a point, down by seven. 15 to eight, with Megan Harmon in to serve, the 5'8 senior. Goes to the one spot, back set. Delivered by Spalberg, keeps it in. Real spike opportunity by Okoye. Dump at the net by Svalberg. Pretty. And it produces a point for Grandview. They double it up and go into the lead by eight. 16 to eight over Eagle Crest. Eagle Crest has to stop it now, not to let this one get out of hand. Poulter gets one up for Logan. The block's there, and that's Svalberg and Denny doubling up Logan on the block. 17 to 8. Edaroff on the serve. Down ball by Lawton. Dumped by McKinney. Here's a quick in the middle. McCoy's blocked. Outside McLaren off the blockers. Picked up by Lawton. This time McCoy. Against one blocker, she tools it off the hands of McLaren. So Eagle Crest stops the run down by eight. 17 9 with Chloe Logan at the serve. Nice pass by Edderoff. Roll spike by Svalberg. That one didn't seem like it would be too tough to handle, but out of position was Megan Harmon, and she had to come up in a hurry to cover. The open space in the back row didn't get there in time. Nine point lead, another service error. 
by Grandview. That's the fourth one this set. 18-10. Early in the year, had a chance to watch Grandview at, Cha at Chaparral. They play it every year, just a terrific match. And they play, it's, it's a non-league match. Grandview had a lot of service errors in that one. Played it well. And speaking of that, Chaparral in the last match against uh, Cherokee Trail to win, to go into the semifinals, unofficially 14 service errors by Chaparral. All right. Back to live action. Eagle Crest trying to get back into this one. Poulter's going to try to go up with the joust, and she is stuffed by McLaren. She had to totally turn her body around as Eagle Crest still down by eight, this time 19 to 11. On the service is McLaren. Smith with a nice pass. Dump over. Power dink by Poulter, getting a little bit of energy. She'll go back to serve, first time today. Harmon comes out. That brings Gaither into the front row. Quick in the middle, triple blocked is Cat Denny. Roll spike by Montgomery, all over it. Miracle along with Gaither's. Grandview, the first to 20 as Eagle Crest down by a 20 to 12. As that ball fell inside the Eagle Crest court, so the point goes to Grandview. Poulter goes outside, Gaithers right at McLaren. Nice reaction on the dig. Montgomery blocked, picked up by Poulter. Outside, Gaithers going to roll spike it right smack into the net. So 21 serving 12. And back to serve is going to be Sarah Mullins. She started things off with a 7-0 run. Two were aces. Back set. A little too much on it by Tolbert. And Eagle Crest looks like it's just a little out of sync. It's not getting on top of balls. It's hitting into the net. Got to turn things around. Change the, the momentum. Down by 10. 22-12. We'll step aside. It's... Live action from the Colorado High School State Volleyball Tournament on Chasta.tv. Grandview in control of set number one against Eagle Crest. 22 to 12. Service by Mullins. There's a nice swing by Gaithers off the blockers. Svalberg will go outside to Montgomery into the net. So Eagle Crest gets the point in the side out. Eagle Crest has been flat this entire match looking for an injection of energy. Need to, to step it up here against Grandview. Served up by Jackie Lawton. Outside on the, the swing set. Coming in was Koppel and makes Eagle Crest pay. So Eagle Crest won and done on the turnaround. Ten-point advantage once again by Grandview. More important, two away from set one victory. Poulter jousting at the net. Tips it over, but she's going to be called. She knew it. it. She was a little bit over. And it's going to be a point for Grandview. Set point as well. Koppel at the serve. Six foot junior, very instrumental on the outside end with her hands. Here's a quick in the middle. Put away by Miracle. Pretty. When things are working for Eagle Crest, no one better along the net. Smith on the serve, 24-14. Set point still over the top of the blockers. Svalberg. Here's a quick in the middle of Okoye. 1v1. And give that solo block 
to sophomore Katie Patrick, who stands up the senior Okoye and helps Grandview win set one, 25 to 14. We'll pause and come back for set two. Quick match for Grandview, Eagle Crest looking to turn it around. You're watching Colorado High School State Girls Volleyball Action live from the Denver Coliseum on Chasta.tv. Set two underway, Grandview wins set one, 25 to 14 over its arch rival Eagle Crest. Back set on the way to Svalberg, stuffed. Now it goes the other way to McLaren, Dink. Picked up, Poulter back sets. It looks like Gaither's on the outside, finds part of the court. It stays in bounds. Eagle Crest starts off good with a 1-0 lead. Eagle Crest trying, needs to turn it around here. Last time these two teams played was October 19th in league action. And Eagle Crest won that match, and it really was a turning point in the season. Team came together, maintained the match, controlled themselves, and they've been going five sets many times, mostly in big matches. And Eagle Crest came on strong down the last uh, home stretch of the season played really well and finished she, uh, first tying with Cherry Creek for the t Centennial League title and Grandview was right behind they finished third behind Eagle Crest and Cherry Creek so those three teams so close 
in that Centennial League. For Grandview, a little bit of payback here today. Would like to do it in the state tournament to earn a spot in the Final Four. Roll spike on the way from Smith. Here comes McLaren, just gets it over, tip. Oh, nice one-handed set by Poulter. Miracle demolishes it, gives uh, Eagle Crest. Second point, eight inches in by one. 3-2 lead for Grandview. That was pretty. Smith on the pass, outside. Logan stuffed. Poulter calls for it, back to Logan. Dump, good dig by Svalberg, goes back the other way. Poulter's gonna go up and pass it outside to Logan, almost found it, the line. Good idea by Poulter, boy, she really elevated. That's what you get from a 6-1 setter. And you see it with the 6-3 setter from Doherty and Gabby Simpson. You're able to do so much more. Not only set the ball, but the balls you can get to. Oh, nice decision by Poulter. Great dig by Ederoff. And there's one by Eagle Crest, Jackie Lawton. Both teams trying to keep the ball off the floor. Eagle Crest wins that one. Down by one. 4-3 for the Raptors. Smith back to serve. Sails it out of bounds. So 5-3, Grandview leads set two after winning the first one handily, 25-14. Oh, good job by Okoye to watch that ball, make sure it went over. Good block there, nice uh, read on the net by Grandview. Logan, roll spikes is over. Montgomery outside, oh, miss hit. Well, Montgomery, she's a good one, and she's going to get better. She just uh, will sometimes, you'll see that, just a little bit off in her swing. But when she connects, tough ball to, to get, to pick up. Koye is called for over the net. And it looked like it was a joust situation that she won. Instead, she's called for in the net, providing Grandview with another point. So 6-4, service by Koppel goes into the net. as the Eagle Crest, down by one. Six foot, six five, with Logan back to serve. Nice up by Svalberg. There's Montgomery, into the block by Okoye and Tolbert, but in an effort to keep that ball up, looked like Tolbert went off her arm. I think the down ball official, or the down official was calling a roll up on the arm of Tolbert, Coach Bond arguing it, but to no avail. So seven serving five. There's the swing set by Okoye, kept alive by Grandview. Look at the double block on McLaren. It'll go back outside, she'll roll it over the top. Smith is gonna be a little strong, there's a dump. And into the net's gonna be Eagle Crest again. Point goes to Grandview. Well, tough play at the net. Both these teams fighting here with Montgomery with a nice float. And it looked like out of, uh, out of rotation was Grandview, so a point automatically. The whistle was blown immediately. Eagle Crest with the point. So 8-6, Grandview by two. Koppel sends it outside to McLaren, off the block. Nice dig by Logan. Up in the air goes Tolbert, double block. And Patrick and Spalberg all over Tolbert. Right now, Eagle Crest just three down, but still trying to find its groove to get in system. Credit Grandview for doing an excellent job defensively and along the net. There's a... A hit by Tolbert over the block. Outside McLaren, down the line and out. No touch made, but you got to like the way Miss McLaren, Haley McLaren, the 6'2 sophomore, 
is throwing down the ball. Second team all-conference as a freshman, just versatile hitter, middle, temple, high, outside. She can do it all. She's got some, some room to grow mentally and physically for the sophomore. Six foot two, here comes the serve. And mishandled on the pass. Rare occasion when you see Haley, rather Sydney Ederoff, struggle on a pass. We are all knotted, and just like that, Eagle Crest makes up the points. It's nine apiece. Down ball from Montgomery. Just clips the inside of the line. And it'll be a point and a side out for Grandview. So the Wolves go up by one. 10-9. Svalberg, Svalberg on. I said quick in the middle. And Miracle turned her body just a little bit too much trying to get around that block. You got McLaren at the net. Play, plays so long. Along with Kat Denny. Four-year starter. Four-year player here for Patty Childress. Sister in the system as well, Erica. A lot of sisters go through. And Patty Childress has done a phenomenal job. Three state championships. Seven appearances in the finals. Just since 2003, and that one sails out of bounds. Eagle Crest back to within two, 12-10 Grandview. McLaren on the serve. Kept alive by Lawton. Around the block is Logan. Back set on the way. They kill by Koppel. We've got a ball in the court. Replay. No questions asked. That, it's automatic. Winner here earns a trip to the Final Four to face Chaparral, the two-time defending champs. Three people have secured a spot in the semis. Last spot is up for grabs here. Roll spike by Montgomery, blocked. Quick in the middle, Miracle with the dump. Beautiful. Found the spot right in front of Ederoff. Eagle Crest just down by one. Smith goes back to serve. And Kelsey Smith has done a fantastic job. Very consistent. Good server. Nice swing by Koppel. Picked up by Poulter. Outside it goes to Logan. Over the blockers. Got it. And that time she, didn't, she, she just got a couple of fingers. That's all she needed. We're tied at 12. More like it for Eagle Crest. Better energy. Still yet to go on a good run outside. Montgomery delivers a big blow. Picked up by Lawton. Here goes Logan over the top. Nice dig in the back by McLaren. Montgomery over the net. A one-hand tip by Poulter. Kept alive by Okoye. Good team effort. Eagle Crest battling back to overcomes a three-point deficit. Now in the lead by one. 13-12 with Smith still serving. Back set on the way from Koppel. And it just follows along the net and goes out of bounds. Timeout on the floor. Patty Childress wants to talk about it for Grandview. Eagle Crest goes up by two. 14-12. Live coverage of state high school volleyball from the Denver Coliseum on Chassa.tv.
Smith continues to serve. She's got four in a row. 14-12 Eagle Crest. Dump in the middle by Grandview. Logan again roll spike over the blockers. Shoot set. Svalberg tries to keep it in. It just, actually that was Denny. Svalberg on the set. It just sails wide. Smith will continue. Three-point advantage now. 5-0 run in the works here for Eagle Crest. Oh, nice set over the net. Picked up by Smith. Ball in the court. We'll try it again. So court two. Wreaking a little havoc over here on court five. <laughs> five courts going simultaneously. Three, four, and 5A action in state playoffs for Colorado. Colorado, one of the hotbeds in the country for volleyball. Swing by Montgomery, a little too strong, over the blockers and out of bounds. And just like that, Eagle Crest, which was down by as many as three, up by four at 16-12. And the only way that Grandview got the ball back this time was on a service error by Smith. So 16-13. With Harmon, rather Mullins, to the serve. And she... Gives it right back. Second service air. Both teams have two this set. Four point advantage for Eagle Crest. Into the lineup, Megan Harmon, the senior, plays the back row and serves, and she just misses two. Wow, that is three consecutive service errors. Two by Eagle Crest. Couple back to serve. Outside, Logan stuffed. Spallberg and Patrick all over it. Logan comes in at five foot seven, but just crafty like other players we've seen on the court this tournament. There's a nice swing set. Okoye takes advantage, gets it over. Outside it goes to Montgomery, dumps. Here's a quick in the middle, Okoye, and picked up, and it went off. It's going to be a lift, yep. As Ederoff was in the right place, but tough ball to handle. So 18-15. Jump serve on the way by Logan. Koppel, back set, Montgomery, down. Got it right in front of Smith. All she could do was get a hand on it. Nice kill by Montgomery. She'll go back to serve in Montgomery. 6-1 junior. Jump serve goes wide. Picked up by Logan. Outside, Tolbert blocked. Oh, and struggling to keep it up was Poulter. Trying to get there as fast as she could. That ball lost air quick. 18-17, Grandview within one. Montgomery, jump set it and serve it again. Poulter, beautiful up ball. Oh, and Okoye just mistimed it. She was up there, and it looked like she just kind of lost her place in midair. Miscue allows Grandview to tie it all up. Three in a row for the Wolves, 18 all. Montgomery goes down the line. Colwell with the dig. And the swing, and just sails out. So Al Alexis Colwell sends it long, and Grandview regains the lead. 19-18. We'll step aside. You're watching Colorado High School Volleyball on Chassa.tv.
Back to live action. Up by one. Grandview 19-18 on a 4-0 run with Montgomery at the serve. And Eagle Crest answers, stops the run, gets the point. We're knotted at 19 apiece. Okoye on the serve. Goes right at Montgomery at the one spot. Back set. Svalbard into the block of Tolbert. Tapped back older. Koya, great diving save. Kept alive on Grandview's side. A roll spike. We've got a call of a lift on Grandview. Point Eagle Crest. Tell the stakes are high. The level has raised on both sides of the net. Eagle Crest first to 20. Didn't even get their last set. All right, McLaren hard into the blockers. And it falls down inside the Eagle Crest court. We are tied at 20 apiece. Back to serve, Edderoff. Patrick comes out in the back row. Outside, here comes Tolbert over the blockers. A little bit long, so Eagle Crest struggling with keeping the ball in the court on the outsides. Grandview having some issues with service. And that one, miscue by Logan. One of the few times that she mishandled the ball. And two-point advantage by Grandview. 22 to 20. Three away from taking set two. Set one was 25 to 14. State tournament this year, four pools of three. You play two matches and only one winner of each pool plays in the semifinals. That's different than past years. It's been the Elite Eight. And then the top two of each pool goes to the finals. So didn't happen this year that way. And more teams got in, but only one winner. Well, the way it works in this pool, in the pool that Grandview is in with Eagle Crest, is pool three, is, high, is Grandview defeated Heritage in five sets. So Grandview's 1-0 coming in. Heritage won over Eagle Crest in five sets. And then, so Heritage is 1-1, one and, one, and Eagle Crest is 0-1, a must-win match for the Raptors. And smart move, move by Edderoff goes right back at Logan. And that's where she got the last point, and that's where she got this point. 23-20. to 20. Three in a row with Edderoff at the surface. Goes back at Logan. Logan gets this time. Poulter sends it over. Great diving save by Montgomery. Free ball. Smith to Poulter. Back out. This time blocked is Colwell. She'll try it again. Dump it. Picked up by Koppel. McLaren's just going to try to get it over on the roll spike. Down ball on the way. And Logan sends it into the net. Setting up set point for Grandview. Fighting back, Chloe Logan, the 5'7 junior, gets the ball. Poulter goes outside to Caldwell. Get oh, off speed. The changeup by Colwell helps Eagle Crest get the point inside out. Poulter to serve. Set point right here for Grandview. Svalberg. Off the blockers, point and set, 25 to 21. Grandview prevails over Eagle Crest, winning set two. That's 2-0 two Grandview. One more and Grandview will move on to meet Chaparral in the final four. Three teams, Doherty, Cherry Creek, and Chaparral already have secured spots in this afternoon's final four. We'll step aside and get ready for set three between Eagle Crest and Grandview. This is Colorado High School State Volleyball Action live from the Denver Coliseum on Chassa.tv.
Set four on the way, set three rather, as Eagle Crest takes the serve by Ederoff. Bump, set, spike. That's the old fashioned way. Eagle Crest on the board first. 1 0. Here in set three, Eagle Crest backs against the wall. Outside, McLaren off the tape. Logan back in position. Roll spike over the blockers. Back set. Svalberg dinks into the net. Four hits. 2 0, Eagle Crest. So as many service errors as Grandview has, it hasn't really hurt them that much yet. Middle attack coming from the back row. Montgomery gets it over. Oh, a lift call on Okoye. She likes palm that ball to try to get it over the net. Point Grandview, 2-1. Serve. Svalberg, Poulter, quick to Okoye on the slide. Did a terrific job making short order of that one on Grandview. 3-1 Eagle Crest. That's when Eagle Crest is in system. You can get Tolbert in the act, Okoye. They've got some good swings. They also have it. They can get it too from Logan. Miracle in the middle. They've got some great options. Need to get them involved. Outside, Koppel stuffed, and that's Okoye and Poulter. This is a good rotation right here for Eagle Crest. Chance for the Raptors to take advantage with Logan at the serve. Jump serve in the middle to Montgomery. Nice pass. Here's McLaren. Beautiful swing. Great dig by Colwell. Make that Harmon. This one goes out of bounds. Was nice opportunity, though. That ball came hard and fast in a hurry to Megan Harmon. Point Grandview inside out, 4-2. McLaren on the service. That was a service error, folks. First one of this set. 5-2 Eagle Crest leads it. Okoye is headed to the University of Denver. Just intimidating. She's another one who can touch. Over 10 feet. That's right, over 10 feet. And she's still growing. It's pretty crazy. So 6-2, Eagle Crest gets the point. Okoye will continue. And, she, and Jordan Poulter, they both can. You know who else can do 10-8 is Haley Washington from Doherty. And they've got a couple others on that team that can has great, have great rise. Nice double block at the net. Grandview all over it. Gets the point in the side out. So 6-3, Eagle Crest rattling off a few in a row under Logan's serve. Now Mullins is in on the service. And Miracle, tough ball to swing at as she tried to go around the blockers too wide. 6-4. Harmon in the first set. Part of a 7-0 run, had two aces. Montgomery smart play. She went up she saw Poulter on the outside. Tooled it off her on the, on the power dink. Grandview creeps within one. 6-5. Jump set. Outside to Tolbert. It's going to be a free ball. Setting it up. Dump. Nice job by Poulter. Great pickup by Mullins to no avail. Good effort by Mullins to keep that ball up, but Jordan Poulter finds a spot in the back row, gives her team a point, and she'll serve now with a 7-5 lead. Nice effort by Svalberg. Poulter jump set. Outside, Tolbert off the blockers. Svalberg sets it up for Montgomery. Nice dig there by Smith. Here comes Tolbert. Down ball, no. Picked up by Ederoff. Free opportunity. Here's a nice quick. Miracle makes it work. Poulter called Miracle's number and just got it inside the blockers. And it goes down. Eagle Crest by three. Eight five. Oh, and a miss hit on service received by Kat Denny. 
Not too many serve-receive errors for Grandview here today. Poulter, what a competitor. University of Illinois is going to be thrilled to have the sophomore. She's verbal there, family from Illinois. Outside it goes Montgomery off the blockers. Saved by Poulter and Logan and free balled over by Smith. Outside, no, quick in the middle. Nice swing by Patrick. Good dig by Eagle Crest, and we're going to have a replay on another ball going into the court. Poulter working on a 3-0 run here, 9-5 lead for the Raptors outside. Koppel off the, off the uh, blockers, tipped ball, Grandview point side out. So 9-6. And Kylie Koppel on the serve. Here's a quick in the middle. Miracle single block stuff. That comes by way of the sophomore Patrick. 9-7. Koppel, a transfer from Arapaho, has settled in nicely to this Grandview squad. Deep, deep ball. And deep means service air for Grandview. 10 serving seven and back in is Jackie Lawton, senior defensive specialist on the service. Deep and oh, and she responds with the service error. Well, that is the second time in the match that both teams have just handed it right back over. 10-8, crest by two. Poulter, oh, Poulter was trying to do a shoot set over the net, but she's a little further away than she thought. One of the few times we've got a set a setting error, especially coming from Jordan Poulter. Truly one of the top setters in the state. Just a sophomore. Here comes a nice effort by Gathers. Free ball over. Quick in the middle. Patrick dug up by Poulter. Set over and diving is Montgomery. Here comes McLaren. Great effort by Grandview defensively setting up Haley McLaren and she finds just outside the 10 foot line a space on the court and we're knotted at 10 apiece outside Logan down the line just missed it just missed it for Eagle Crest Grandview goes up by one 11 serving 10 and that's Montgomery on the serve. She had a good run last set too with about three or four in a row. Make that four in a row and we've got a timeout on the floor. Another point. 12-10 Grandview leads it. Tanya Bond wants a timeout. You're watching live coverage of State High School Volleyball on Chassa.tv. Grandview on a 6-1 run, pulls ahead 12-10 over Eagle Crest. Mary Kay Morrow with live action courtside for State High School Volleyball from the Denver Coliseum. Tip over by Jordan Poulter. You can get caught on it. Sometimes there's just a slight disadvantage when you're tall. You know, you, you, she just clears the net so easily, but you think you can just kind of touch it before you get over there, and she's called for... Uh, into the net, 13-10. Montgomery continues. Poulter great handles. Logan gets it over. Poulter's going to, nice set. Sets it up, Miracle. Hits the top of the tape. They're going to call for hits on Eagle Crest. 
8-1 run here with Montgomery. She's got five of the points off serve. Outside, Gaithers. Cross court, good. Nice dig by Jackie Lawton to set that up. Poulter put it in the right spot, right place for Gaithers, and she gets it across court. Stops the run. Again, an 8-1 run. Closes the gap to 14-11. McLaren will spike. Lawton's going to help out because Poulter was stuck in the back of the row. So Poulter had gone down for the ball. Someone else needed to get the ball. That's a tough place to be for Eagle Crest, especially when you're running that 5-1. And you're, you're so used to Jordan Poulter to be there. 15-11. Header off. Tough ball to handle for Lawton. Free ball by Eagle Crest. Outside. Back set. Swing by Spalberg. Good. Pretty execution by the Wolves. Just like that, it is 16 to 11. Better off right at Logan. Poulter on the quick and Okoye down ball good. Nice kill by Okoye. When that combination is working, it is a pretty sight for Eagle Crest. Unfortunately, not enough. They need to get that rolling more. Serve receive air by Grandview. Eagle Crest pulls it within three. Harmon at the serve. 16 13. Koppel. Swing set. Denny off the handle. The tipping, of, rather, the block of Eagle Crest in Grandview goes back to a four point advantage. 17 to 13. Poulter on the slide by Okoye, deep in the corner, almost caught that back line. She knew she was going to have trouble getting there in a hurry, trying to compensate with kind of a floater swing. And it just sailed out of bounds. 18 now, five-point advantage for the Wolves. Poulter has a good ball to handle. Oh, just a little short. Okoye wasn't going forward. Here's a quick. Boy, Kat Denny did a nice job. That was Koppel, rather. Svaldberg the Koppel. Nice opportunity in the middle there. 19-13. Slowly getting out of hand here. Eagle Crest has to stop it. Poulter free over the net. Outside. And Koppel struggled on that one. So it goes out of bounds. Point Eagle Crest. 19-15. Logan on the serve. Jump serve. She had four in a row last set. In the middle attack. McLaren off the blockers. Nice diving attempt by Smith. Out of bounds. 20. Grandview makes it there first. Grandview five points away from a return trip to the semifinals. Tara Stillwell in to serve. Outside it goes. Tolbert. Radical angle goes wide. 21 to 14. It should be 15, but the scoreboard's only saying 14, so we'll stick with that. Still well, the sophomore in for the first time at the service. You have a second opportunity here. Lead at seven now. Quick in the middle. There's Okoye picked up. Nice block by Denny. Outside it goes to Montgomery. Block is there. Okoye and Poulter. And that may, this may be the last time you hear that combination as Okoye the senior Headed off to college, staying in town at the University of Denver, Poulter the sophomore. All right. Tough serve received. Grandview struggles on it. Can Okoye bring her team back with some good serve, tough serving? And the Eagle Crest dig down deep, pull off one of the wins to keep alive. All right, outside it goes, down the line, Koppel. And Koppel keeps it in the court. 22-16, Okoye comes off. Sarah! 
So in to serve is Mullins. She's been spectacular at the serve here today. Outside, Tolbert, down ball, good. Great swing by Lydia Tolbert. Tolbert just average size, but great jump. See the strength when she goes up and pulls that ball through. Kat Denny on the pass. Block at the net by Heritage, or rather Eagle Crest. Heritage in the same pool, by the way. Montgomery into the block by Miracle and Gaithers. Free ball. Poulter's going to have to let it go. Instead, one hands it to Miracle. Pretty effort. You know, Poulter takes that chance, and more times than not is successful. Did a one-hand set. Gaithers right there to capitalize. And 22 to 18. Point off Poulter. Poulter had three in a row earlier in this set. Timeout on the floor. Patty Childress wants to talk about it, does not want her team to go to a third set, give Eagle Crest any momentum. Let's take a look at how the bracket looks right now. Doherty in five sets. That's right, five sets. They've only lost six sets this whole year. Two of them just last match to Highlands Ranch. And a well-fought Lou Krause's squad really toughened up. Took the number one team in the state to five and just lost. And now Doherty will face Cherry Creek, who won 3-1 over Mountain Vista. Chaparral won 3-1 over Cherry Creek. Key trail and the lone spot open in the final four is up for grabs. But Grandview can seal the deal with a victory here. Up 22 to 19. One set one 25 to 14. Set two 25 to 21. Lead this one 22 to 19. Montgomery over the top, outside. Here comes Tolbert for, Her for Eagle Crest, right into the blockers. And stays in the court, 23-19. Koppel serving. She'll go down the line and out of bounds. And the number one seed, the Cheyenne Nelson Indians. Three service errors has not hurt. The errors have not hurt Grandview. Jackie Lawton on the serve outside. Shoot set over by Montgomery. Poulter's going to go outside to Logan. Blocked. Ball's tapped around by Smith and Logan, and it goes out of bounds. Set match point right here with Montgomery. She's had some good serves here today. She likes that jump serve. Let's see what she does here. Her team needs one more to win it all here in the match. All right. Quick to Cat Denny. Off of Poulter. And Grandview makes a return appearance in the Colorado High School State 5A Final Four. The Grandview Wolves defeat Eagle Chris 25-20. In the third set, after winning 25-14 and 25-21, they win 3-0 over their league rival, Eagle Crest, and uh, kind of respond. A little bit of payback after that league win that helped Eagle Crest uh, tie for the league championship for the Centennial League. They do it in the state tournament where they like to play best. They have so much experience. And Patty Childress sends her team into the final four against... The two-time defending champs, Chaparral, a team they faced and were runners-up against last year. All right, join us on Chasta.tv. Follow the action. We've got more volleyball ahead of us. You've been watching Colorado High School State Volleyball 5A Action. I'm Mary Kay Morrow on Chasta.tv.